Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do an empties video, which I have never done before, but I'm going to do one today. So, um, let's jump right into what I have here. I have a few products that I've been collecting for about eh, six, eight months or so. Just kind of collecting them to kind of get a collection together to show you all. I'm going to start with a staple product, which is my Kinky Curly Not Today. Um, Y'all have seen me use this in a few videos. Um, this is the best detangler, hands down, for my hair. I can use it by itself straight out of the, out of the um, bottle, or I can use it um, diluted with water and aloe vera gel. Um, and it's a great, great, great detangler, very thick. Um, the ingredients are mango fruit extract, organic slippery elm, organic marshmallow root, which marsh marshmallow root is very good for detangling, um, organic lemongrass, and then some stuff that I cannot pronounce. So it's not natural, however, it does detangle my natural hair. Um, you can find this at Walmart, Target, um, I think Sally's carries it. It's about $12, um, but it's for an eight ounce and it usually lasts me um, six months to a year. So I've already re-upped on this and I use this every wash day. Um, the next thing is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curling Style Milk. This is a winner in my book. Um, I use it as a leave-in and a styler. It's great also for detangling for my hair. Um, it says it's for thick curly hair, anti-freeze, eh, freeze, anti-frizz, moisture and shine, sulfate free and color safe. I've been using this for probably since I've been natural. Um, this and the curl enhancing smoothie from Shea Moisture. I love these two products. Um, and there are many products from Shea Moisture that I, I do love. This one is a lightweight moisturizer. Um, like I said, I use it as a leave-in. Um, yeah, really, really love this one. Um, also, can be found at Walmart, Target, Sally's, um, Kroger, any grocery stores that carries um, African American hair products. You can find it there. Another product that I have is the Herbal Essence Bio Renew. This is the Arabica Coffee Fruit. This, however, I cannot say that I would repurchase it. Um, I do have three bottles of this because it was on sale. I was not impressed with this. Usually Herbal Essence is a winner in my book. Um, I actually use the Hello Hydration and it's awesome. However, this one, eh. I did like the fact that it was thick. It was a thick conditioner. I love thick conditioners. It just didn't do anything for my hair. Um, usually a conditioner, a good conditioner for me, will moisturize my hair like instantly. This just kind of set on my hair. Um, I didn't feel any moisture. Um, so the bottle that I use now is used for my pre poos I just ended up mixing it as one of my pre poo conditioners that I use with some oils. Um, so I will not be purchasing this again. So this one gets a thumb down in my book. Um, next is another staple product line, VO5, and this is the clarifying conditioner. Really do like this one. Um, I feel like it does get the gunk and goo off of my hair. Um, also with the shampoo, I don't use a lot of shampoos. As a matter of fact, I have more conditioner now than I do shampoo. But this right here, the shampoo and conditioner combined, gets all of the gunk and goo and build up off of my scalp and leaves it feeling very, very hydrated. I really like this herbal, uh, herbal essence. VO5 um, conditioner is very cheap. Usually you can find it under a dollar, uh, maybe now a dollar fifty or so. Kroger, Sally's, I don't think Sally's carries this. Kroger, Walmart, um, any places like that. Kroger and Walmart is where I usually find it. Dollar stores, Dollar General, places like that do carry this. Um, next thing I have is the Shea Moisture um, Smooth and Repair Rinse Out Conditioner. Um, Shea Moisture Conditioners, they're kind of a hit and miss for me. This one was not a winner in my book. 
won't be purchasing this one again uh, so give this one a thumbs down I did like that it was kind of thick and I think you can probably see the little conditioner that's in there um, it's thick all of the Shea Moisture conditioners are thick um, however I have not found one that I can say just does the trick for my hair so Shea Moisture conditioners mm, not a winner in my book um, but I do get them when they're on sale so I got this at a great price um, it does have no sulfates, parabens, um, no mineral oil, synthetic fragrance, no synthetic color. So I do like the products, I mean the ingredients that are in Shea Moisture or that are not in Shea Moisture. Um, however, the conditioners don't do much for my hair as far as moisture, um, slip. I didn't notice any slip with this or with the um, herbal essence, no slip with these at all um so i get this one a thumbs yeah thumbs to the side because i did like the fact that it's a thick conditioner also the herbal essence i did like that it was a thick conditioner as well um the next thing i have is an oil this is jojoba oil this one is by desert essence and jojoba oil is really good. Um, it mimics the natural sebum that we have on our scalps. Um, and I do mix this with a number of different oils. Um, it's not a thick oil, as you can see, probably some product is still left in there. So it's not a very thick oil. It can be combined and it plays well with um, black castor oil, Jamaican black castor oil, or just regular castor oil plays well with that to um, thin it out so that you know easier application. So it does play well with that. Um, some benefits of jojoba oil are it promotes a healthy scalp and it's not an oil that's going to sit on your hair. Um, it easily soaks into your follicles and promotes healthy scalp, healthy hair. Um, shiny hair it's also it's great for shine i love it for shines for your hair skin and for your scalp as well um, the next product that i want to show you is the rosemary oil and this is an essential oil rosemary is good for promoting a healthy scalp as well um, also aids in prevention of premature graying and it's also good for a dry scalp so what i did with this was mix it with my other oils and reap the benefits that way. Uh, the last product that I have is the Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. This one was really good. I like the fact that it was a thick hair mask. It went on easily. Um, I felt like it had great slip. Also, I felt like my hair was moisturized after I finished using this product. With this, you're supposed to leave it on for five minutes um, and for a more intense deep conditioning cover your hair with a plastic cap so what I did was cover my hair with a plastic cap and left it on for 15 to 20 minutes out of the shower but I would repurchase this one because I did feel like, feel like my hair was moisturized and it did reap all the benefits um, of what this said that it was going to do for my hair so that is it for my empties video I hope you guys enjoyed it um, there are some products here that I will repurchase and some that I will not be repurchasing. Some that are my staples and some that can just hit the trash can. So um, I will talk to you all later. I love you all so much and have a great, great, great week to come. Bye.